Talking about Ohio State Athletics today, we are going to be talking about not football, though. This is going to be covering baseball and women's hockey. Roll it. Welcome to Buckeye Breakdown, the show where I talk about Ohio State, Ohio State athletics, and uh, primarily I'll be focusing on football, men's basketball, men's hockey, and women's hockey, because those are the sports that I just know the best for Ohio State. So, uh, oddly enough, though, only one of those sports will be getting talked about today, and we're going to be talking about um, a couple of hires that Ohio State athletics have been doing so first and foremost, we're going to talk about the new baseball coach um, for Ohio State, Justin Hare. Now, Justin Hare comes to Ohio State from Campbell University, the Fighting Camels. I believe they're a Southern Conference team, if I'm not mistaken. But Campbell have had a very good run and a very good tenure under the Ohio native. Now, Justin Hare coming from the um, – from just a little north of Cincinnati in Hamilton, Ohio. Uh, In his time at Campbell, he had 317 wins, which is very good, very, very good. And I would be very thrilled to have that um, on the Buckeyes. But more importantly, he won five consecutive conference championships. Five consecutive. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ohio State won the national championship in 1960. They have never reached those heights again. They struggle to even get access into the regionals and the super regionals. So, you know, Ohio State baseball has been on the downswing for a long time. Their last head coach was not very good. Um, we we struggled. We were just kind of a middle-of-the-pack team. They made the Big Ten tournament, made a run this year. But ultimately, the uh, head coach had stepped down and gone back to TCU. Good riddance to him. He was terrible. So, Justin Hare, welcome to Ohio State. We are very excited to have a new chapter in the baseball team. And hopefully, Bill Davis Stadium will be a fun place to watch a ball game. In our other topic of discussion, we're going to be talking about Uh, The new assistant coach hired by the women's hockey team. Now, most people, I feel like, would be like, why would anyone care about an assistant coach getting hired on to the women's hockey team? Well, for one, Ohio State are the defending national champions. They're very, very good. They They have built an incredible program under Nadine Muzzerall, and I think that she has been an absolute godsend to this program. And her hire today was very interesting, I thought. So welcoming into the Ohio State women's hockey coaching staff is James Wisniewski, former Columbus Blue Jacket. Uh, Wisniewski played four seasons under the Blue Jackets, and um, he was a likable enough player, I thought, but he, he wasn't the best. And clearly he's been taking his coaching very seriously as he is already stepping up to the collegiate level as an assistant. Uh, welcome to Ohio State. Welcome to the champions. Uh, James Wisniewski is the first and most important thing. I'm very excited to see what insight he can bring as a professional hockey player to this team that's already accomplished so much. There's a ton of expectations on this team already two national championships in three seasons uh current like i said currently defending national champions and i'll tell you what there is no more pure hockey experience than going and watching the ohio state women's ice hockey team play they are fast they are ruthless they use their speed to kill their opponents i've gone to in the last couple seasons i've gone to probably about six or seven of the women's hockey games. They're super fun. Very, very exciting hockey games. Um, That's not to say the men's game isn't. It's just that it's a different experience going to the men's hockey versus the women's. But 
regardless, you know, Wisniewski, even just as an assistant, is going to have a ton of pressure on him, on himself, just with the amount of uh, the amount of expectations this women's team has. You know, they've lost a lot of talent to the PWHL draft in this season. They basically are going to have to use Wisniewski, an NHL, a former NHL player, as a selling point. You know, hey, I know what it takes to be a professional ice hockey player. Let me show you what that takes. Especially now that the PWHL has been such a wild success that it was this year. Sold out crowds and huge crowds watching uh, these games for women's hockey. There was, what, 20,000 people at one of the games in Montreal this year. So, you know, being able to be like, hey, I can get you to the pros and I can show you what it takes to be a professional ice hockey player. I think that's going to be a big deal for uh, Ohio State and getting more talent to come to arguably the worst arena in collegiate hockey. So, you know, we're going to have to see how this all unfolds, how Wiz handles the pressure. But I'm thinking it can be done. I think he can do a good job, and I think he'll provide valuable insight to uh, this women's hockey team. And maybe even to Coach Muzzerall, he might be of good service. So we'll have to see how this all unfolds. But for now, this has been Buckeye Breakdown. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, leave a comment. If you are a women's ice hockey fan, what are your expectations? Do you expect them to run the national title back? Um, I know personally, I expect them to at least make it to the tournament. There's the ceiling. That's the that's the floor for me. They have to make the tournament. That that's the expectation that they have set for themselves. And for baseball, um, do you have any expectations going into next baseball season? Do you want this team to just come out of the season with a winning record or do you want to see them make a true run for the big 10 tournament title and possibly an ncaa tournament berth so those are my questions for you make sure you leave a comment like and subscribe as well i am Corey caustic this has been the caustic fan and this has been buckeye breakdown have a good one Bye -bye. It's a